JJJ, you already know it's your boy Joe back out of the game, man. Codingface.com. Listen, um, I just wanted to talk about this because pretty much I've tried to get into uh game development like three to four times. I think this is my fourth time that I'm trying to get into this. This is the fourth time I buy a course from Udemy, and I'm like, man. I'm going to do it. I've been wanting to start making some games. I'm going to get into this thing. I'm going to go all out. And once again, I have to quit. Why? Because I just realized, I'm like, the reason why I'm always quitting on this is not because I can't do it. It's the fact that, you know, I have to not only uh, basically code, but at the same time, I also have to learn a new program. If you guys haven't ever, you know, had the chance to check out Unity, Unity 3D, right? The program itself is very complex. It has so many different windows, so many different things. It's like, it, it's like, I don't know how to explain it. It's like freaking Photoshop on fucking steroids, right? Yeah, man. And like, for real, I just, I don't know, man. Like... I love coding, but I don't like learning new programs. <laughs> it's like now I got to learn like all these fucking options. There's so much shit into this, you know, this game engine itself, right? And I've been trying to find something like, you know, I don't know, just plain JavaScript game engine, something that's good, but there's not enough tutorials on HTML5 games, right? There's not that many good tutorials or anything that um can help me out you know because i really don't want to be learning no fucking game engine like you know unreal engine or the fucking unity game unity 3d like it's really annoying you know <laughs> like i really just realized that i just like coding man i don't like doing all this extra shit you know i mean this is something that i already know from before but to me this is the bad side of like game development like it's like if you you know if you're a programmer you just want to call like you just want to create a fucking game that's it right but you don't want to go in there and have to learn so much shit of a game engine like that's that's the problem of of becoming a game developer which i don't understand how people do it you know i remember when i was like 14 i was gonna go to full sales um this college it's like, i don't even know if it's a legit college but yeah full sales edu right full sale university back then i wanted to come here to actually learn game development i wanted to learn game development or i wanted to become a audio engineer right but i never had the opportunity to go it was just like too expensive you know single parent like i was like man who's gonna pay for this shit nobody's gonna pay for the shit so i'm gonna be either in debt or whatever right but a lot of of the people that went to the school like they work in the industry they work in ea they work at uh what is it ubisoft like all these big companies right and i was like man I, I gotta go to this thing but now that i'm here i'm like looking at this thing now i'm like man i'm kind of glad i didn't because i just don't see myself doing this shit like you know i mean there's so many different parts of it right you could be a a game designer you could be a you know do game development which is more the coding side you could do mobile gaming but man i just don't know man and it, it kind of sucks man because i was really excited i was like man i'm gonna become a, a game developer i'm trying to switch up because web development is cool but at the same time i feel like i'm losing i'm losing i don't know how to call it it's like the passion for it because i already learned everything that isn't well to me I, of course there's so much shit that I, I gotta learn but i've lost the passion to continue doing web development because I think I kind of burned myself out too the past few months where I do web development at work. I do web development here 
and in YouTube. I do tutorials. Um, I also fucking learn new de web development fucking technologies and and frameworks and languages. And it's like now it's just if it, it became too much, right? And like I want to do something else. I want to learn something else, something new, something cool that has to do with programming. So I don't know if maybe I might switch to software engineering, um, something else, you know, because web development is great. But I've been doing this for so long, guys. Like I've been doing this for a long time. Like even though I started when I was like 14 messing around with little websites and I left it alone and came back when I was like 24, 25, 10 years later, like I've been doing this for what, like five, it's going to be like five years, six years, you know, this year around there. So it's like, it's a long time. And then I've been doing this shit like constantly, like I haven't stopped. I probably got like already over 10,000 hours because I do this shit every single day, like at least five hours of coding. And now I'm like, man, I already know how to do all this shit. Like, what's my next challenge? You know, like, what is it that I'm going to learn next? Like, I want to be able to learn something else because I love the idea of keep on learning and, and learning new cool things. And I'm like, man. I want a games development to work. <laughs> I want to become a games developer and create cool shit. But game engines suck, man. Because I, all I like to do is code. I don't like to do all this extra shit. I don't like doing this fucking extra things that you got to learn from like game, uh, game development. And I'm like, man, all I want to do is code. That's it, right? So... For now, I'm going to have to put this on hold. Game development is going under the rug for a little while. And, yeah, it's just going to be <laughs> what I call a dream, you know. I'm not doing it. You know, I'm just not doing it, man. Because it's just not worth it for me to try to learn fucking Unity or Unreal Engine. I just don't have the passion to learn a program. I have the passion to learn programming. I don't like have the passion to learn another fucking program system, right? Like it's really annoying. Like you know, <laughs> I already spent enough time learning Photoshop, all the Adobe suites. I already paid time to fucking learn a sketch. Like I learned so much shit, and it's like man, for me to start getting into game development, it's like. I'm starting from zero and the the part that I least like is learning a new software like a fucking unity and game engine or whatever right I hate that shit because it's too many fucking windows for me it's just like it's too much too many fucking options it's like they try to put so much into this game engines that it kind of fucks it up because it's like it's too much it's overwhelming it's not like code. Code is like, okay, 1 plus 1 equals 2. That's it. But when you have to deal with 30,000 windows, then from there, in every window, there's 30,000 options. And then there's fucking 30,000 select um, drop boxes and, and options and a whole bunch of shit. And you're like, what the fuck is all this shit? You know, it's like this tutorial that I bought is not that bad. But. Uh, at the same time, it's like 56 hours. And I'm like, man, when am I going to have time to learn Unity, right? When am I going to have 56 hours to give, right? I just don't know, man. So I'm putting this in the back burner. And under the rug, I'm putting this shit in the garbage can. <laughs> like, I ain't doing this shit. And I'm just going to accept it. That I'm not going to become a game developer because I just don't like the game engines at all. And, you know, the only way that I would do is if I find one that's just straight up JavaScript. Like JavaScript and just coding. I could do everything with, with code. And I don't have to deal with a fucking user interface. Because that's the problem. Dealing with this user interfaces and all these fucking uh, programs that they create. It's like, it becomes so fucking complicated for no fucking reason. And yeah, man. So we putting this shit <laughs> under the rug. Okay, guys? Anyways, man, I just wanted to share this with you guys. 
All right, I'll see you guys later. It's your boy Joe back at it again. Codedface.com. Make sure you subscribe. Make sure you like this video. Listen, guys, check out the website, man. Codedface.com. You guys are not now able to to register. Make sure you register, guys. Just come in, click join. You got the channels, right? You got the channels, different channels that show you different news or or articles or videos or YouTube videos from you know whatever programming language you like you actually could follow them right and then we got the stacks stacks is coming up this week stacks is going to be like your checklist guys your checklist to basically say hey i want to learn the mean stack and then you're going to have a checklist that says hey html css uh javascript you know jquery ajax um body parser or fucking passport like it's gonna be a checklist for yourself to basically know exactly the things that you gotta learn and in what order all right guys so anyways man make sure you subscribe make sure you like this video i'll see you guys later bye GGG, you already know it's your boy Joe back at it again, man. Listen, make sure you subscribe and make sure you like this video, man. By the way, if you want to know exactly what courses I took to become a web developer, they're right there in the description. It's no secret. It's nothing crazy. It's no secret gift that I had. It's just pretty much I took the courses. They're pretty cheap. They're like $15 each on specials. And just listen, man. Change your life. Change your lifestyle. Do something fun and something cool that you could call a career. Bye.